Yeah. I'm sorry about the Guinness. Hey, listen, it's uh, all right, it's all right, it's all right. If Nobody you to smuggle it from yeah. Mexico. Up again very early this morning to get another eight hour shuttle to Antigua. Antigua is going to be exciting because we're meeting friends from home, can't wait for that. But the eight hour shuttle uh, is sending me a little bit, but we'll get through it I'm sure. I think the roads are a little bit better than the last shuttle we got. I'm just standing here admiring this view for the last time. One, two, three, jump! I've just realized that we've done three eight hour plus bus journeys in the last four days. So I'm really looking forward to just chilling out here. Are you wearing your mask? Look at that. Hello. I'm like so sweaty. Yeah, we're rocking. This is our dorm. Sarah's there. I'm here. That's Pudge. <laughs> Slauncha! Slauncha! Yeah. These Guinness were very expensive. How much were they? We're thinking maybe five or six euro. We're not uh, eating tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is dinner. Holy mother! Well, that wasn't frightening. <laughs> that was a shock. It's landing here. This place is absolutely sick. Volcano, and two more over here. This one apparently erupted this morning. The girls caught it on camera. Here, man. Sorry. <laughs> what a noob. You get that in a restaurant, so oh, you would. Not in <laughs> Just about to start our little pub crawl. First place we're going to is Papa's Barbecue. Papi's. Papi's Barbecue to get some food, line the stomach a little bit, and then a couple of bars, hopefully. <laughs> We're looking at two pounds of meat here. Guys, you're not drinking if you're rubbing your off. This is the longest game of Jenga I've ever played in my life. And we're getting close, I think. So what happened there is this. <laughs> So we're in the second Irish pub of the night and we're going to go up and give out to the owner here because of how much we charged for the Guinness last night. I'm sorry about the Guinness. Hey, listen, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. If Lovely you had to smuggle it from <laughs> Mexico, you know, I make virtually nothing. Oh. I know, it's only for the taste of home. Little bit of miscommunication here. We ordered four beers. We thought they were going to be not normal beers. How was I to know? You never told me. Drink it. Johnny Shaw, 
We're gonna head back to the hostel now, get some drinks. Oh, there's some sparklers here. Yeah, we're about two hours away from the new year. This is going well. There are literally fireworks everywhere. to describe last night. Chaotic. What about you, Says? Emotional. Boring. Judging by how we're all feeling today, I think it's gonna be a very quiet one. Uh, oh, my sweet, gentle Jesus. On dinner, Ray. Yeah. Off the ears, dying with hangover. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Do you think you made one here? Go on, Cork. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, see ya. Woo! Hey. Tell me what flavor you got there, Pudge. So I got cucumber, lemon, salt, and pepper. Not a fan, no. No. Looking for a refund, even though he had licked it a couple of times. I licked. <laughs> so we are just about to say our first, hopefully our first goodbye. If they play their cards right. Just go away. Seriously. Just go here for half an hour. Just go. End up being four nights. Hey. Four nights listen to right now. We'll see you later, guys. All right, Boom. Later, Boom. Adios. Adios. Right, on to the next place. We are going to check into the Tropicana Hostel now. And apparently it's supposed to be a bit of a party hostel, so that probably will mean it'll be loud. Right, this is where we are. I'm here. Sarah's here. They're not double bunk beds. <laughs> They're triple bunk beds. And look at this bed here actually. I oh, this is really funny. Imagine being given that single bed there underneath the stairs. It's like Harry Potter-esque. Now we're going to the Serra de la Cruz. It's like a viewpoint over Antigua. And we're hopefully gonna make it up just in time for sunset. Good news, we made it to the top, the climb wasn't that hard, and the view is fairly spectacular, apart from a little bit of haze. So, Antigua, looked down upon by a huge mountain slash volcano, we don't know yet. And with the majority of Catholic countries, including Ireland, we usually have crosses at high points, and this place is no different. Another sunny day in Antigua. Plan today is to get a haircut because I'm getting really sick of looking this scruffy. And then we have a chocolate museum booked for half five as well, so that should be good. How much for like a dry cut? 30. Okay, perfect. That's cheap. <laughs> Hola, dry cut. Okay, I'm just gonna do that because I'm gonna get straight in. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, Daniel is gonna cut my hair. Gracias, muchas gracias. So the second barber shop that I tried was actually more expensive, but there wasn't anybody waiting, so I decided to pay the 10 extra quetzals. And in fairness, I did a fine job. It tidies me up a lot. Now I'm in a little bit of a rush to get back to the hostel to meet Sarah to go to this chocolate workshop. Coffee and then the chocolate on top. Then this we did chocolate and then peanuts on top. And here I've kind of divided into three. So we've got macadamia nuts, 
coconut and then sea salt. Done. It only took about half an hour to 45 minutes. We have some chocolate now that we made ourselves. The majority of the history was very interesting in fairness. I'm not going to give away much because, you know, go with yourself to learn. But I will tell you one thing. Chocolate comes from a tree. Where do you think it came from? I don't know, the Easter Bunny or something? Oh, yeah. Myself and Sarah have done a thing. We have booked ourselves a hike to the top of Akatanango Volcano, which is a little bit shy of 4,000 meters. Just to put into context, that is four times the size of Ireland's highest mountain. Today is all about prep for that. So we're gonna go to the shop now and get some snacks. We're also gonna stop at a pharmacy to get aspirin just in case we have altitude sickness. We did meet an Irish guy last night though who is doing it tomorrow and he is very experienced and he's kind of taken us under his wing a little and he's gonna make sure we make it to the top. So yeah, anxious, but excited. And excited as well. Snacks bought. So there's not much available because a lot of stuff's in laundry. This is kind of what we have. So like nice warm jackets. So yeah, you probably need that and that. <laughs> oh, I thought they were shorts for a second. Just trying to get everything charged and drink as much water as we can now so that there is zero dehydration when we're climbing. So I've decided I'm gonna pack in the morning. I'm getting slightly worried when Sarah's so organized here. Give us a one word comment. Penny stocks. <laughs> That's two words. Oh. It's uh, multiple hours later, I decided to pack, so I'm all set for tomorrow. We went for food there, we're feeling good, we're hydrated, and we're full heading to bed for a very, very early night. This is where I'm gonna end the vlog. The next vlog will be us climbing the mountain. If you're seeing this video, I'm sure we've survived at this stage. We'll see you in the next one. Tell me, how are you finding the altitude? 